Broadway shows have been suspended. They've suspended all performances through April 12th due to the coronavirus outbreak. Now, the Broadway League made the move after New York Governor Cuomo announced gatherings of 500 people or more were now banned. Joining us now is Lee Sheps, senior reporter for InsideEdition.com. And Lee, when we talk about the move that has been made just in terms of shutting down Broadway, is this something that's unprecedented? And what type of impact can this have for so many of these plays? now that might not see the light of day again. Yeah, well, to put this into perspective, when 9-11 happened, Broadway closed for two days. Two days. And this is an entire month. Broadway shows aren't expected to resume until April 13th. That's an entire month from now, as we just said. You know, this could cause the industry to lose about $100 million in revenue. This shutdown comes during Broadway's busiest time of the season. March and April are when the majority of the Broadway shows for the entire year opens. And that means press performances are pushed back, big Broadway opening nights are pushed back. For example, the highly anticipated revival of Company was set to open on Sunday, March 22nd. That was the same day as the composer, Stephen Sondheim's 90th birthday. So I know many in the Broadway community are really disappointed to miss out on such a joyous celebration, celebrating both the opening and his birthday. There's been some uh, Broadway plays that were underperforming. They hadn't been filling uh, the seats that maybe they were expecting to. Some of those plays, are they at risk of not reopening once Broadway, if in fact Broadway does come back online in mid-April? I wouldn't say that they'd be at risk for not reopening. Shows last week that we did see a dip because of the coronavirus were shows like Frozen and The Lion King, which grossed less than 60% of its potential earnings, according to Forbes. These are big Disney blockbusters. And while Disney theme parks are shutting its doors for now, these Disney musicals certainly aren't going to be shutting its doors either. And Lee, real quick, do you think that once uh, these, once Broadway does reopen, if it in fact, it does reopen in mid-April. Will it kind of be a slow climb back at the box office? Do you think some people will still be hesitant to go into crowded theaters? I think it'll definitely be a slow climb. I think theater goers want to go see theater. Sure, people will be, you know, a little leery at first. But, you know, a lot of the shows, uh, when they do reopen, the seats will be filled with free tickets for a lot of the press that need to see these Broadway shows when they open. And that's for the critics. To, so that they can review the shows, and that's for reporters and journalists like myself, so we can see the shows and we're able to write feature pieces to spread the word of mouth because a lot of new shows are opening this season. Last night, six, the musical was supposed to reopen, but since the shutdown happened at five o'clock, the show wasn't able to open. Another show, Girl from the North Country, which opened last week and is a New York Times critics pick, that got a lot of momentum post opening. You know, mm -hmm. there will be a slump now because no one's able to see these shows. And word of mouth and these pieces and in the media are really important to spread the word so that, as you mentioned, you know, shows don't close and that they can reopen and, and continue having audiences inside. The Tony nominations are April 18th, mm -hmm. um, and we haven't gotten word yet whether uh, that will be on that date or if they're going to push back the entire Broadway season. All right, Lee Sheps, right. thanks for joining me. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.